Welcome to our presentation on Joomla 1.5 and using the My Blog component to enter your blog posts. This is our current blog and what it looks like today and we will learn how to create these posts. First we need to go into the back end of Joomla and we're going to navigate to Components and then choose My Blog. You can see our current blog posts listed here along with their information. Today we're going to add a new blog, so over on the left we click on Write New Entry and a pop-up box appears. We see we have tabs for plain text as well as rich text. Here you can click to add a title. You want to make a very compelling title with some keywords in it that will catch users' attention, but try not to make it too long or it might be referred to by Google as spam, so don't go overboard with your title here and then click down here below to enter the text of your blog post. You can either write it directly in here or you can copy it from another document where you've written it previously. If you've done that in Word and you want to get that content in here, I suggest you copy the section out of Word and use this link here that says paste from Word. We click this and a pop-up box appears. And if you've copied it out of Word, you can now hit Control V to paste that in here, which the system will strip the extraneous code that Microsoft adds to Word documents that tends to bloat your post and, and make it look less than appealing. So I'm going to just write a brief sentence or two here. Of course, you can have quite a bit of content. If you need to add an image, it's always recommended that you have an image or a video in a blog post. Over here on the right you see there are links you can click here. If I click on Images and Documents, you see I have an image that I've uploaded here. This is the Browse tab. I can click here on the Upload tab and browse for a different image off of my website. Let's see. Uh, we can. pick something interesting here and hit the upload button. It will auto resize that photo and let you know that it's uploaded successfully. So here I have this image and perhaps I want it aligned to the right of my post so my text will appear on the left. And over here is the tags link where you can assign a tag, you can add a new tag here. I'm going to go over here and browse for a, t a tag. And perhaps this blog post is about selling a home, so I check that. And so if I've given it a title, added my text here below where if I need to use any of the typical editor features, I can bold things, I can highlight a string of words and use the insert edit link to paste a URL in to another website. Um, if I've got a very long blog post after several paragraphs I can use the read more button here and that will add this read more line so that when in the blog post displays on the main blog the introductory paragraph will show and the rest will not be displayed. They would, The visitor would need to click on read more in order to see the entire blog post. And when I was satisfied with this new blog post, I would hit save. Instead, I'm going to cancel. And it would appear here with all of the other blog posts. And it would immediately be live. If you've written a blog post you don't want it to publish yet, you can unpublish it. Like I, if I wanted to, I could edit this blog post here. And perhaps it would, I would want to make some changes. And here is the publish date. If I wanted to, I could change this publish date to sometime in the future, and then it would automatically be published on that date. So you can have a big creative chunk of your day and do several blog posts and have them go out over time, instead of trying to remember to do it every couple of days. So I don't want to make any changes to this post, so I'm going to hit this X to cancel out. And if we go back to the main site, this is what it looks like once it's published. You can click on the link to view the entire post. As you see, you can see how many hits it's gotten. Visitors can email this post to their friends. They can bookmark it at any of these social networks. They can set it as a favorite. 
they can make a comment down here below and when anyone makes a comment you will be notified by the system so that you can come in and approve it or disapprove it sometimes you're going to get spam comments because people think that they'll get some SEO juice although all of these comment links that go out will have the no follow tag so that it won't dilute your search rank on your blog pages so this is how my blog works it's fairly straightforward also as you get comments that come in that is handled by another component that is written by the same people that uh, created the my blog component and you could go to that by visiting components job comment so we're going to go here and see this. We don't have any comments as of right now, but if we did, they would display here and you would be able to manage them. And that's a brief overview of how my blog works.